Hi, everyone. I'm going to give you the five-minute brain dump on agile marketing, which is about taking an approach to software development and adapting it to marketing management. Now, the word agile gets thrown around a lot today. I mean, it means nimble, fast. Who doesn't want to be agile? But the agile I am talking about is actually a capital A agile management methodology. It's very popular in software development. Now, before agile, software was development, developed using something called the waterfall model. And it was called this because projects would be structured so that they begin with a, a particular stage, let's say requirements gathering, and then once that phase is over, we go to design, and then once it's design, we implement, and then finally we get to deployment. And it kind of looks like a waterfall. And on paper, it looks very pretty. But the problem is, is if you get to the bottom of the waterfall and someone says, actually, our requirements have changed, let's go back, it can be a little bit painful to try and make your way up that waterfall. But this is actually a problem, because in the real world, things do change. Requirements change, our customers change, the market changes. So about 10 years ago or so, a group of software developers got together and said, can't we come up with a better way to develop software to deal with this kind of change? And they launched something called the Manifesto for Agile Software Development, which is all about just taking a more collaborative and iterative approach to bringing software to life. So one kind of agile development is called Scrum. And Scrum involves a team of typically no more than eight software developers who work together. And they work on a project in these little cycles of time known as sprints that last anywhere from one week to four weeks. And each sprint takes a very specific chunk of work to be done. They focus on getting that out there. And the purpose is at the end of the sprint to be able to show something that you can get feedback on and then iterate for your next sprint. Now, the way this works is, you know, there's usually a task board somewhere, and a product owner puts the tasks of things they want in priority, in a backlog. And then a developer takes something off that backlog, they put into the work in progress column. Once it's complete, they move it to done. This can be done using post-it notes, it can be done using software. But the point is that everyone is always able to see the current state of the project. Who's doing what? How's it coming along? Now, another part of uh, uh, Scrum is something called the daily stand-up, which is a 15-minute meeting held every day. It's called a stand-up because we do it standing up to keep it to 15 minutes. And during this meeting, each person in the team goes around and answers three questions. What did I do yesterday? What am I going to do today? Are there any impediments in my way? And this is all about keeping forward momentum to the project and making sure the team has complete transparency. And then at the end of each sprint, we do longer sit-down meetings you know, to review what was produced, get feedback on that. Uh, and then we start to plan for the next sprint. OK, based on that feedback, how do we want to iterate and maybe change our priorities? Now, this doesn't have to be just used for software. In fact, there's a great book. If you haven't read it, I highly recommend it, The Lean Startup, that talks about using this build, measure, learn feedback cycle for all kinds of business opportunities. And in particular, this approach of lean and agile is a really great fit with marketing these days, particularly the portion of marketing that's dealing with the digital world, where things change over these multi-month periods. Sometimes they change over multi-hour periods. Agile marketing is terrific for social media marketing, so that as you're running your social media marketing, you're able to get feedback on who are we engaging with, what's the hot topic, what, things, uh, what are we learning about uh, who we need to reach out to. We can change those priorities. Content marketing, another case where we get to put things out into the world, see what content resonates with people, iterate it, make it better, find hot new topics. Now, agile marketing isn't meant for all aspects of the marketing department, but for these pieces of marketing that are involved in getting experiences out to customers and getting their feedback and being able to respond to change for that, it's really a terrific way to manage these kinds of marketing projects. So I hope that gives you a little bit of a, what's your appetite. Just do a Google search for agile marketing. You'll find all sorts of great resources. Thank you.